going? Squeaky's camera shy today. <laughs> Looks like we didn't move any from last night. It was probably because the wind stayed from the same direction all night long. It just got less. Uh, and I don't think there's a current right now either. These are the voyages of Treasured Times, her continuing mission to explore the oceans of South Florida and the Caribbean, to seek out unknown islands and forgotten places, to give an unforgettable adventure to everyone who is welcomed aboard. Welcome aboard, Treasured Times. Captain's Log, November 28, 2021. Happy all that bait is alive still. I'm gonna go down and check them out. It's crazy that they're all alive still. I wasn't sure how they'd do overnight. And the water's still clear. We've got plans to hunt this area for stone crabs today. The water is clear and it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day. That chain. Go straight down that way. Hmm. Got the first visitor of the day at the lighthouse and it's not even eight o'clock yet. <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day on the water. I am enjoying this nice morning and the water's still clear. We're gonna get us some breakfast. I think we're gonna make some of those sausage um, pancake things that I made on Mike's birthday. Those are so good. <laughs> yeah, but um, last night, I slept so good last night even though it was a little bit rough and choppy. I think after a while you get used to moving around in a boat and you almost sleep better on the water because like I was out I was as soon as I, my head hit the pillow I couldn't keep my eyes open even though we were still moving around a little bit but I think you just get used to it some people it takes them a while to you know with all that moving around and the noise and and that but I think we've gotten used to it after being um, staying out overnight for a few times but I slept so good last night Small coffee now. Time to go inside and get me some coffee. Masks. Masks. Now I'm the tool guy, so I make sure I got all the tools. These are all spare stuff. In case we have a fail. We'll bring that. Make sure you have your friends. AC, that's Adrian. MC, that's me. This is some stuff I don't think we'll use, so I'm just gonna throw it in the dinghy. Put the tank up. It's still reporting that boat there, Captain. Really? Mm -hmm. I wonder how long this has been in my pocket. Pocket rocks? Huh? You getting them pocket rocks? It's a rock, but it's covered in this coral so it's been there for a long time. It's concrete covered in coral. Really? Is that what it is? It looks like. So far it's taken us over 45 minutes to get off the boat. Well yeah, it usually does. Lights off. We are loaded up and ready. Loaded up. Look at me. Come back here. Loaded up and ready. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. 
<laughs> Your bat battery is almost examination. dead. Examination. Huh? Oh, examination? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, Pre dive no. video. Pre dive We're about video. to get wet. Yep. There's Hashtag. lots of stone crabs here. Hashtag, Hashtag. pure bloods. Pure bloods. <laughs> here we go. Our first stone crab was a rather large one, and he was in a defensive position at the entrance of his tunnel. I wasn't about to stick my hand in there like I usually do. I gave him a few taps with my tool, and once he backed away, I carefully reached inside. Stone crabs cannot close their claws as quickly as other crabs can, so quick movements allow me to feel around without losing my fingers. I carefully remove a few rocks and rubble from the tunnel. Eventually, I manage to get my hand behind him, and he comes tumbling out. Stone crabs are usually not this defensive when inside the burrow. I just have to be careful and quick. This is considered a colossal crab. We've never mastered the claw removal technique, so we use a tool. Incorrect removal of the claw can kill the crab, but this crab will live. It may seem inhumane to remove both claws, but this is actually recommended by FWC. The crab goes into a partial hibernation and stays mostly in the burrow. He is still able to feed himself using his legs, and his claws will grow back in time. This allows younger crabs in the area a chance to grow stronger without being injured or possibly killed by the experienced colossal crab. As I was placing the crab back in his burrow, I discovered why he was putting up such a fight. It's a female, and she has recently molted her exoskeleton. I have to be careful not to injure her soft body. A male will pair up with a female, and once she molts, he will protect her inside his burrow. A week or two after her shell hardens, they will reproduce and she will carry eggs for the next generation. It wasn't a surprise that we also found a few lobsters in the area. We weren't having much luck with stone crabs, so we moved on to some deeper water. Like always, we found plenty of lionfish. Goliath grouper is a protected species. He did not like me getting so close. One flick of the tail and he was out of there. We're back. Got a bunch of lionfish and some lobsters and a couple stone crab claws. We're catching ballyhoo now. They don't like being close to the boat. Yeah. Oh, you'll get one now. That was a good cast. I 
They're thinking about it. They're really thinking about it. <laughs> oh, the, oh, 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 nope. <laughs> Almost. I didn't catch any. <laughs> but look at this. Mike got three. He got three. No, he got four. 